Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany Winting Lee. Thank you for your interest in our work. Today, we will present an exploratory study on the challenges and concerns of faculty and students in the arts, humanities, and social sciences about education at scale. As the latest iteration of a storied effort to enhance access to high quality educational resources through distance learning, in recent years, universities are offering their vast catalog of STEM and non-STEM courses online and at scale. This paper focuses on university-level open-ended courses, mostly from the arts, humanities, and social sciences. We define open-ended courses as those which involve a significant amount of content that incorporates introspection and criticism, raises questions with more than a small number of correct responses, and is amenable to subjective interpretation. In our university, a significant number of departments offer mostly open-ended courses, and about one-third of the MOOCs today are from these disciplines. In this work, we found that supporting students' self-expression is critical to scaling open-ended courses. Our research was motivated by the following question. Should instructors teach jazz improvisation and intro to programming in the same way? Surprisingly, prior work finds that instructors have been teaching open-ended and non-open-ended courses in a similar manner on MOOC platforms. So despite the prevalence of open-ended courses, we do not know much about how to teach them at scale and online effectively. Prior work that aimed to scale open-ended courses focused primarily on lowering the cost of assessing open-ended assignments. While this is a critical concern to address, there is a need to better understand how to effectively teach open-ended courses. To achieve this goal, we asked our first research question. We would like to understand what distinguishes the teaching and learning experiences in an open-ended course from a non-open-ended course. We approach this question from both an instructor perspective and a student perspective using two surveys. We compared how instructors operationalized open-ended and non-open-ended courses in our university and survey students about their experiences with open-ended courses. Primarily grounded in statistical analysis, we summarized five key pedagogical elements for the effective teaching of open-ended courses. We hope our results can help instructors and institutions better allocate resources when offering open-ended courses at scale and online. Besides identifying the key pedagogical elements, we took one step further to understand what challenges and opportunities instructors may encounter when incorporating these elements into large-scale online open-ended courses in the university setting. We conducted interviews with 11 faculties. Based on the grounded theory-like approach, we identify six future research directions that may guide the development of infrastructure that supports the scaling of open-ended courses. To highlight our results, we found that students' need for self-expression in open-ended courses contributed to all the key pedagogical elements and challenges we identified. For example, unlike the Q&A type interactions in non-open-ended courses, in-depth conversations between instructors and students and among peers was a unique feature of open-ended courses. It's all about conversation. So then the core question about scalability is about conversation. Instructors also had concerns for the lack of real engagement when students converse on the online forums. So it's like here, marking it off the list. Oh, you want me to do this? Okay, we will do this. We also found that open-ended courses needed a welcoming environment that encouraged and respected the students' self-expression. Instructors share that diminished trust, both in an online setting and in a large-scale setting, may hinder students' willingness to share their work and opinions. The small class is intensely personal. They are hanging work that came from their soul. And that's really threatening. My students and I trust each other. Seldom would that happen in the big class. While we recognize the benefits of enhancing the accessibility to higher education, we urge universities to carefully consider the challenges and concerns raised by instructors and students in our study and guard against overscaling open-ended courses. 
We hope our work can guide instructors' teaching practices, support student learning, and inform institutions' resource allocation and infrastructure development processes to achieve positive learning outcomes in large-scale online open-ended courses in the university setting. At last, we would like to thank our colleagues and participants, and thank you for listening. <laughs>